Hello everybody, I'm Captain Ben Chancy and welcome to this episode of Chew On This and we have some cool stuff going on today. Today is the Disco King Dorado boat wrap. We're prepping it right now, getting some glue off, getting it all ready to go. And once that happens, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to wrap this boat and go over a few of the details that will help you do it yourself and make your boat a new color and it looks like you got a complete new paint job when you wrap it. We're using Vivid Vinyl today. I think it's going to look pretty good. I'm actually thinking it's going to look better and pretty good. So I'm pumped up about it. Hope you enjoy this episode. And hey, if you haven't done it yet, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> All right, everybody. So here we are. I got Tommy, my main man, the one who shows me, tells me, and actually makes this happen with the boat wrap. And we're going to go pretty cool today. What he's doing now is we're using this goof off. There's a little bit of leftover glue. And we're having to make sure there's no glue or no little marks like you guys can see these because they'll show through if we don't get that off. And if those show through, how does it look? Like crap. All right. And here's the crazy <laughs> stuff. We're going with hollow chrome wrap. I don't think this has ever been done on a boat ever. I tell you what, we're going to be, we're going to have the Disco King Dorado. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be pretty cool. But we got some more prep work to do. We got to get this goof off. We're using the goof off to get the glue off and um, get it going. Get it looking pretty good. This is the shiny side. It doesn't have as much glue on this side. This side looks a lot better, Tom, Tommy. It don't matter, dude. I cut everything out. I think we're not going to have enough. Oh, don't say that. Sure. You said that last time, I dude. We had a whole roll. See if we have enough and figure out if we want to do this or not. Here we go. Now, we actually bought a hundred foot sheet to wrap the boat with. However, the original reason that we bought the hollow chrome was to wrap the Corvette, the one that I bought for my wife that she hated. So, right now we're having a little dilemma. We're hoping we've got enough to wrap all the way down the side. But however, if we do not have enough to wrap down both sides, one thing I like to do sometimes is uh, I like to mix a black with a chrome or a black with a silver. So I think we got an idea as far as making it work, but I'm hoping it's going to fit. We're going to find out right now though. Just short. All right, so, so we're showing, okay, I'm okay with this. And the only thing I can say is I have black at the house. I got black over here. And we could do the tip of the boat black and the rest chrome. No, we're going to do the back here with uh, that very last corner with uh, with uh, black. Sure. All right, we're having the dilemma. I think that we're going to put black in the back. And he's wanting to put black in the front. And then I think we're going to do black in the back. We're going to go black with the back my call <laughs> <laughs> I heard that <laughs> all right go that way yeah start at the front oh well, I gotta take, take this off yeah oh you gotta roll it all back up yeah all right so you know that you're going big time status when your rapper shows up in the big pimp of Cadillac <laughs> So yes, I do have an official rapper here with us today. However, he does not spit beats. He spits boat wraps and car wraps. We got Tommy over here. Now look, this is what the boat's looking like. Now there's a film on top. All yellow. Yeah. And now we are going to go to the other side. You're gonna see. Oh, there's a clear cut on My goal is, so listen, my goal is to make this look like a giant white bait or a tarpon. So I want sharks and, 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 and big fish to think that this is a ginormous bait in the water. And I want them to start attacking it, or at least falling around, seeing if they want to eat it. Because with it being shiny like that on the water, I'm pretty sure it's going gonna, it's gonna to draw some attention. Hopefully the attention comes from the fish. All right, everybody. So we're ready to wrap it in King Disco are also known as Vivid Holochrome. 
And uh, here's how we set it up. Tommy likes to start at the front of the boat. And he peels off a little bit on the backside, just like he just did where that tape went. <laughs> and then he puts it up here and he sticks it to the side of the boat. Which that essentially works as the tape. So it allows him to tape this up so he gets to put it right down the side of the boat and he gets to lay it all out and see how it's supposed to lay up there. Now, as you see, he's going down. He's going to bring the entire sheet down the side. And then what he's going to do is going to come to the very end and he's going to, along the lines, he's going to, along the lines, he's going to continually tape it off. And then as he gets to the back, he's going to, all right, so here we go. It's looking good. Oh, what's he saying? He just ain't home yet. Uh oh. Look at that shine. Hey, I want you guys to know. I like shiny stuff. I ain't gonna lie about it. Love shine. This is disco all the way. I don't know. Some of you may remember when you used to go to the grocery store, you could put in 50 cent into like the gumball machine and it had stickers in it. And some of the stickers had what was called holochrome. Well, that's what this wrap is supposed to be, holochrome. So when the sh sun shines on it, it shines a whole bunch of different colors. It's like a rainbow effect. I think it's pretty cool. Hey, it's over the top, but that's all right. I don't mind it. And you know what, Tommy? Maybe now those black numbers that you gave me like almost a year ago, yeah. I can put it on the rack and people can see them. And that's that good because now time. I don't have to pull out the uh, cutter. Because, uh, because whenever I got stopped, I was going to tell them that a sheriff is the one that did this wrap and that he gave me these black stickers. And that's what he said I should put on it. And I just wanted to ask if they stopped me, if that's how I should do it, or if they had a different way they would like for me to do it. Isn't that right, Tom? I, I have no comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what Tommy just did was is he ripped a section about three foot wide out of the middle of the wrap, and he's going to lay the wrap down on the boat right in the middle, and then he's going to go from the middle right and left, which allows him to form the material down the sides of the boat where the boat curves up and where it flattens out. So everything seems to pan out well. You know, I know this is a do-it-yourselfer. I've got a guy on my helping me, Tommy here, that's got like a thousand boats that he's wrapped. <laughs> but it's still a do-it-yourselfer. <laughs> me doing this. I wonder how many people have picked up it when they're doing it by themselves. Not doing it in the middle? Yeah. This is a I do it by myself wrap skill. Yeah. Hey. You know what? I learned a long time ago. There's more ways to do things well than just one way. Seems to be laying down pretty good, huh? Why would you say that? Because you ripped you it good too. You just jinxed me. You ripped it good too. Hey, I did that. Listen, what you just said is funny. <gasps> Shiny, shiny. Yeah, you guys. All right, so Tommy just ripped the backing off. And he's doing this, so. Why are you ripping the backing off, Tommy? This is. That's a man hard at work right there. Too. All right, Tommy, why are you ripping the backing off? Oh, this is how we're going to put it on. Okay, <laughs> so this is how we're going to put it on. All right, get a little bit closer there and bring, bring your... Uh, bring it down? All right. All right, give me... <laughs> so right now what we're trying to do is we're trying to glass this out. You like that term, huh, Tommy? We're trying to glass out the chrome before we lay it down. You got this U-bolt over here? And get out the most wrinkles possible. 
So we wanted to get as flat as we possibly can, have the mirrors finish before we start trying to stick it. And Andre dropped it. No, he ripped it. <laughs> Andre almost dropped it, sticky side to the ground. <laughs> Right now, Tommy's trying to get, what are you doing? Just getting a little bit of it to stick? Yeah. Makes it easier to work with. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah it makes it good. Uh, you know, this is a new product for us, so we're, uh, we're still learning right now. Yeah, hollow chrome's not something that's out there a lot. And uh, like, it's really unique. And, uh, you know, there's always a learning curve with different things, but we're going to make it happen. It's going to look good for us. Yeah, uh, I want to get right. Uh, squeeze my ear. You know. mm -hmm. This is the part right here, everybody, where I'm just amazed. This is Craftsman. This is a wrap specialist. Because all those little bubbles right there, if you don't know what you're doing, they turn into creases. You want it all to look like that part right there. And as you saw when we took the wrap off of the boat, it has a few blemishes in it and stuff like that. You're going to see some of those in the wrap, especially on a mirror finish. But I'm okay with that. Um, it's gonna protect my boat from the sun and it's also gonna look, like I said, a huge white bait or tarpon. <laughs> it's gonna look like a giant fish in the water. I'm scared of pulling this thing on and off. I know, I saw, I saw on the crease. <clears throat> I don't want it to crease at all. Yep. Remember when we yep. were doing the Corvette? Yep. I figured you were thinking about that too. Like once it lays, you just don't want. All right, so now we're at the back corner. That's what she said. We went through. Okay, Tommy, on the front, what are we trying to do? Is it any different than the back? Oh, well, we have a curve that we're dealing with now. So how do you deal with the curve going to the bow of the boat? Uh, it usually goes upward. Okay. So you have to start your wrap low, like I did if everybody was paying attention to that. Okay, so you started low. And that's why we cut it around the fender and all that stuff. So now we'll be able to sweep where Andre's holding it. He can lift it up towards the trolling motor and it'll cover all of the sides of the boat. And right now he's taking the backing off. Can you try to take the backing off one big piece, try not to let it touch the ground. You want to walk to the front more? Yeah. You see Tommy's glass in it right now. He's trying to get it as smooth as possible whenever he lays it up there. You want me to wrap around here, Tommy? Hold it right there for one second. Now what Tommy's attempting to do, wherever he's got flat, 
he tries to work it towards the new area that hasn't been laid down yet. And this keeps him from getting creases and bubbles and things like that. And it also allows him to shape the material towards the bow instead of just getting caught where he doesn't have enough material. By the way, I tried it by myself one time and I got caught with that. And then you have to rip it back off and put it back on. And when you do that with a hollow chrome, you can see imperfections in the chrome. So Tommy's trying to get it laid flat the first time so he doesn't have to deal with these imperfections. Like aluminum foil. It's it is a lot like aluminum foil. Stuff. And like I mentioned, this is something we've never seen it before. First time trying. We're making history today. It's legendary. <laughs> when you get those little bubbles like you got right there what do you do to fix them i don't know yeah uh, this stuff's got a pretty good channeling system just poke it with your finger okay so you poke it with your finger and that gets the air out so it's no big deal don't use your squeegee you'll crease it okay so your finger works better than your squeegee all right we're gonna move this thing up a little bit more like that and see how tommy's raising the material up over the bow that way He's not stuck, losing the amount of material he needs. Woo, that's some shiny stuff. You doing all right up there holding it? Yep. Tommy, is this the hardest part? This is the part you can mess up on? Yeah, well, your boat bows out a little bit. And uh, it causes problems for people because a lot of boats uh, dip inward, uh -huh. which causes people problems too. That's why they hate doing this. But I think the bow out's worse because as soon as it touches, you're done with this stuff. So you want to try to... Keep it off the boat until you lay it flat, right? Yes. Okay. All right, we're at the very end. Andre's doing a great job here. Captain Andre's showing us how it's done. What up? <laughs> and although you see myself here, Captain Andre, all of us helping, Tommy here actually does a lot of these boats all by himself. What's the biggest boat you've ever done by yourself? Uh, what was it? That, uh, that 46 foot um, sport fish. I what He's raft, he I has wrapped a 46 foot sport fisher by himself. I don't even know how that's possible. Because you see, this is, this is three of us here. You know, two of us a helper, that type of deal. And he was doing it by himself. I don't even know where to start there, but it does tell you that it is possible when you get enough experience at it. Here we go. This is the important part, getting the bow right. Where you, you want me to pull this way? The troll motor's kind of... Yeah, it's good. We're good. I'll, uh, Man I'll it. manipulate it here. I'll, I'll take that. I saved it. Right now, from washing the boat, getting the glue off, putting the wrap on this side, we're probably about an hour and 45 minutes in. So it's not too bad. You know, that's prep work. Um, yesterday, I took the boat wrap off. I had about an hour, hour and 15 minutes all together with that. So time's not too bad. We're doing pretty good so far. All right, this is big time. So you saw we were working up to the bow, getting it all taken care of. And now look, we've got it rolled up the bow. He's going around the bow, bow eye right now, which is kind of like not completely finished, but the big heavy lifting is kind of done. Now the detail work is very important. 
and that's where a skilled guy like Tommy does a great job. I know I've tried to do some of the detail work and get you know some of the wrap on, and I do the detail work, and I don't do that part as good as I should. So it's great to have someone here that's got experience with the details, going around the bow eyes and going around the uh, bilge pumps and those different types of things. He does a great job with it, keeps it looking great. So make sure you hit that thumbs up because you like shiny. Even if you don't like shiny, say you like shiny because you never seen shiny like this before. Alright, we are coming down to the nitty gritty now. So before Tommy trims it, what he does is, is he has to run that up underneath the edge of the cap. And he'll run it all the way tight with the squeegee. See, like this here. He pulls it all back so he's got room. See, we got, it's a little sunny, so the sun starts heating up the glue a little bit and it's a little sticky. That's why it's important to get it on before things start going the wrong direction. So now he's going to squeegee it up underneath. That part's really important because if he doesn't do a good job right here with the squeegeeing, you know, the boat's on the water, water's shooting all underneath, running down the hull. And the water will get underneath the top of it and it'll start peeling off. Same way on the bottom, it has to make sure that it's really, really well sealed on the bottom as well. But we're getting pretty close. And we'll be able to show you the brand new holochrome Disco Dorado. <laughs> Tommy's trimming the edge right down the side of the cap. Don't trim on the boat. Don't yeah, what's, some, what's some pitfalls? What do we got to watch out for here? Yeah. Scratch your gel foot. Okay, so keep the blade off of the boat. Here's how it looks. And why are you running the squeegee up there like that? Because your lip is still loose. Yes. There you go. Look how he's making the... And now that runs it right up the side of the gel coat and keeps it so it doesn't come off. Gives you a great, great bond. Now he's going to trim off the rest of this. And the back and the bottom. And we will be complete. And here's what the front looks like so you guys can see how that's taken care of. All taken care of around the edge of the bow eye. Looking great. We are almost done and this guy loses stuff all the time. Yeah, I just lost <laughs> another tool. <laughs> where did I put that at? Do you remember where I put it at? I don't know and I'll help him look and it's like it just disappeared. Like it's a magic trick he performs or something. <laughs> Like right now, he really has no clue. We're gonna try to find it. All right, so Tommy just finished out the edge of the wrap on the corner. And for those of you wanting to know how come you don't wrap the back of the boat and the transom, tell them why, Tommy. You just don't do it, it costs too much. Yeah, because look and see, you've got a jack blade, you've got all these fittings, you've got all this stuff. Can't get that's, around it all. It'll look like a butcher job. Yep, all this stuff that's in the way, if you try to wrap it, you have to take all that stuff off, which is impossible because it's put in with 5200 and all kind of sealants and stuff. So, you don't want to wrap the transom of your boat because it makes it super, super difficult and it'll look like you have a Frankenstein wrap. So no wrapping of the transoms, unless you got a bare hull and you haven't installed anything on it yet, or you're starting from scratch. If you're starting from scratch, you can wrap it, but remember, whatever you wrap it underneath there, that will be the only time it will get wrapped, because you won't wrap it again. Words to the wise. <laughs> All right, everybody, Tommy just said, done, finito. It is gorgeous. 
we've got a chrome boat wrap you know and you know that's usually uh, reserved for your Lamborghinis and all that type of stuff but I said hey Tommy what do you think about chrome wrapping a boat he said I don't know never did it you gonna try it let's do it so this is what we got right now I tell you what I, I really believe we're gonna look like a giant tarpon or a huge white bait out on the water so our boat will look like a fish to other fish and it's gonna draw so many more bites to us Eh, it might not be true, but it sounds good in theory. Hope you guys enjoyed this do-it-yourself version of wrapping your boat. We wrap this in holochrome from Vivid Vinyl. I think it's pretty cool, and it's going to be awesome, and it turned out pretty gorgeous, I think. Like I said, it looks like those stickers that come from, uh, that come from the gumball machine, which is pretty crazy. Anyways, thank you guys very much for tuning in, and until next episode, Godspeed. We'll see you then. Oh, and real quick like, if you guys haven't hit that like button, or if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, why not? Be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell, you know, that little thing, push the button and the bell rings. Make sure you ring that bell so you can get new episodes delivered right to you. You get a notification saying, hey, chew on this, put out a new video. Thank you very much.